Okay, luckily he's a terrible shot. Oh. I deserve that, let's be honest. Moderate damage. Serious damage. Whoops. Had you eaten a few less donuts during the mission, you might have cleared that rock, Roger. Hey, I have not eaten one single donut. Excuse me, game. Ten. Nine. Eight. Here it comes. It's coming from the building. Change course. Set thrusters to full. Oh, shoot. Okay, luckily he's a terrible shot. Oh. I deserve that, let's be honest. Moderate damage. Serious damage. Whoops. Had you eaten a few less donuts during the mission, you might have cleared that rock, Roger. Hey! I have not eaten one single donut. Excuse me, game. Ten. Nine. Eight. Here it comes. It's coming from the building. Change course. Set thrusters to full. It's just fireworks, right? Is he just taking a nap? I mean, of all the possible things he could break out of his enclosure and do, that's probably about the best, but come on. Back 
fact, this room is in lockdown. But don't worry, I've got the override codes. You'll have to use me to unlock the door. That's an excellent idea. When you desperately need all troops available at your side, be sure to lock them in their rooms and force them to use an override that they may not know. Avoid the impact site and head to shelter if any is available. Holy crap. Oh, nice. Of that, but I always forget about it. This ought to encourage me. What? I expect to be well paid. Nubby. For the money. What the heck? Nubby, thank you. I have no idea what that is. You don't have to tell me. It can be a surprise. I will do an unboxing on stream after that arrives. Wait, 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 wait. Even him, only 30 nanites, wow. Oh boy. Oh, this feels very precarious. Oop. 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 Okay. Hey, it worked. Okay, I'm calling that a win. Oh, wow. Oh, wow, yeah. Oh. This is so cool. Is that the sea? No, it's water that's collected underground. Hey, there's a pontoon. People used to use this place. We're on the right track. I've never heard of it before. <laughs> Wait. Wasn't I just using Obi-Wan? Do it. Oh crap! I forgot! <laughs> Whoops. Uh Wow. That's it? That's your best? Damn you. Did wait, did the Rana just raise my corpse? Rude. <laughs> and I am on the brink of vastly improving the tool's archaic design. Whereas I will perfect it. I can use machine parts to enhance the user's throw, increase the projectile's velocity. Well, Boomer here is adamant that enhancing the projectile is better. Why not Boomer both? Explosive tips. Boomsticks. Why not both? Both? Both. Both. Both is good. That could work. Ah, jeez. Oh, God. That was not the best plan. Oh, jeez. Oh, my God. Um. Good evening, folks. We're unexpectedly going to be doing a Baldur's Gate 3 stream today. How's everyone doing? It's good to see everyone here. And Stara, I know you're disappointed. I hope you can forgive me. Jim Racer, how's it going? What's going on? I hope you're having a fantastic evening. Uh, let's see. We want this. There we are. <clears throat> Those mods for enhanced appearance customization in ch character generation are a real tease, since even with mods, there's currently no way to change your dang appearance on an established character. Yeah, well, I'm not too worried about that for my character, but I understand there are people out there who like to change it up quite a bit, and that does kind of suck. Hopefully they will add that in an expansion. Maybe set up a barber shop or something, you know, a salon in Baldur's Gate itself. Uh, so maybe there's something that can be done there. Maybe even in the Druid Grove. Who knows? Or, like you said, I saw your message on the Discord. Uh, possibly something with a mirror. 
so you can change it yourself. Uh, okay, let's load the game up. About to get yourself a cider? That sounds good, Jim. I have wine tonight. And uh, I may end up making myself some tea later. Nubby, how's it going? It's good to see you. I'm real glad we can at least... Yeah, it's weird that they let you respec, but they don't let you alter your visual appearance. That is really strange. I mean, it doesn't particularly bother me, but it would be really nice if they would fix that for people that it does bother. Because now I'm Punch Monk and it's great. That's true, actually. I guess Withers could open a side hustle as a, you know, a, a, an appearance modifier. And if they could extend that to the hirelings, too, and allow you to change the names, that would be great. I've been pondering the whole day what to change my bard college to now that you're visiting the Great Wheel. What is the Great Wheel? Actually, if it's spoilery, don't tell me. Just tell me that it's spoilery. Alter self is like a normal spell in D&D, &D, and we have a spell that lets us change our race, gender, but no actual customization. Oh, jeez. That's... Oh, can you... <laughs> can you imagine if they implemented alter self in that way? Oh, not normal Baldur's Gate, just D&D. &D. Okay, gotcha. The Great Wheel is part of the Chaos Realm. I... Okay, I'm not familiar with that. That's cool, though. Seleno, how's it going? Good to see you. Yeah, but I normally like the planar stuff like that, Nabi. I'm... Oh, crap. Right. It just occurred to me where we left off. Shoot. Um... You know what? We will be back here in just a moment. We don't need to be hiding in camp. No. <laughs> I'm in danger. No, we should be fine. We're in camp. Carlac, where are you? Stop hiding. Gail, you don't need to be hiding either. What the heck, sir? Okay, this is weird. Are we going to have to... <laughs> We're going to have to leave camp, unhide, and then go back. I uh, yeah I know it'll be fine though let's now let's go back uh okay can't give up now You know what? Never mind. It's annoying, but it's not going to impact my business here. It's fine. Uh, we just... Oh, and everybody's out of order now, too. Gail, you go there. Carlac, you... Oh, there. There we go. That's better. Okay. Uh, we're going to... 
I have to get Gale to volunteer to stay behind. And if you could... Oh my god, this is... Okay, this... I I stand corrected. This is going to impact my ability to do my business here because I can't talk to them. I need to concentrate. No, you don't. We don't need you hiding. Perfectly hidden. No! Secrecy above all. Gale. Thank you. Don't be shy. Carlac. There we go. Are we good now? Nope. Nobody's hiding. <laughs> Thank you. Okay. <laughs> wow. Be careful about hiding state. Why, why are you whispering? We're not sneaking. Posture check. Thank you, Seleno. I think all is good. Ugh. I'm listening. I need you to remain. I question the wisdom of that decision, but so be it. I like that he's agreeable about it. I'll be here in the meantime, idling away the hours. Uh, okay. We need our halfling friend again. I should also maybe consider getting rid of some crap in my inventory, since I have somehow gotten overburdened again. Thieves' tools are actually more heavy than I would have expected. Uh, I'll send those to camp. Okay. Bruna. The vessel is at thy disposal. Do what thou wilt. You need to join and probably respec. This soul awaits thy command. Thank you. <clears throat> Let's move. Ah, another. Thy name has been recorded. I shall be here in thy camp. For whenever thou hast need of my services. Can you help me change my class? As thou desire. Uh, let's see. We want rogue. Uh, fate spins along as it should. Dost thou require a new ally? Or mayhaps a resurrection instead? Does it not take you through the full level up process again? How does this work? I don't want to spend another hundred. Oh, never mind. I see it. She's now level one thief instead of level one bard, so we're not going to be multi-class anymore. Got it. That works. Oh, and she's got the 16 dexterity. Okay, that's actually perfect. <clears throat> level three, subclass thief. That's precisely what I would like. New feet. Bump that dexterity up and get the uh, the uh, constitution up. Nope, still got a Starian, but he's a uh, what is it? An arcane trickster, and she's very small. She can get into places Asterian can't. Plus, I'm actually not all that fond of Asterian, if we're being honest.
I mean, he's a great character with an amazing voice actor, and he's unbelievably well written. I just don't enjoy his company very much. You have him with disguise self to be teeny nice. Okay, now. At least things have stayed interesting. We only have a few trap disarm toolkits. I'm gonna send them to Brenna. And let's split this, and I'm gonna give half of them to her too. There we go. With haste. He's definitely not everyone's cup of tea. He's most definitely yours and not even for being a vampire. There. I can tell you what to do. Go see what you can do about these things. Out of sight, out of mind. Light on my feet. Oh shoot, right. Uh, actually, can we cancel out? Yes, we can. My face protects me. Quiet as a mouse. Okay. Now, with Shadowheart in range, hopefully Brenna can do the guidance thing as well. Yeah. Total bonus 11 to 14. So theoretically, I would have to roll a 1 to fail this. Okay. Oh, there's no such thing as overkill. It's the perfect amount of kill. Yeah, I'm kind of leaning towards turn-based myself. Only thing is, are these going to... Um, are they going to... Yeah, okay. So that does seem to have affected them as well. Can we go over... I don't like this. Easy. Let's back off a bit. I have a lot on my mind, and well, in it. Let's march. Environmental turn. Okay. Okay, so far so good. Now that doesn't seem to be a trigger point this time. Oh, thank you, Aranlar. Thank you, thank you. I've got a long road ahead. I'll take this way. 
Whoop. <laughs> Sorry, Brenna. That was a little painful. Making me sweat. Moving ahead. Thirty two. I asked Mattis to flip the coin so many times he gave me the ring for free. Wow, Aranor. <laughs> she didn't need those eyebrows anyway. That's true. I guess maybe on this occasion we send Karlak. She's got lots of hit points and she's pretty good with fire resistance. She still gets flung just as far, though. This will be fun. Perfect. Thank you. You can run back now. Now, I think we're going to skip this turn and wait for that to fire off again. Let's move. Whatever comes, I'm ready. Actually... I always forget it wants me to confirm that I'm trying to use dash. If not over, then through. Crap. Okay. All's well that ends. Not as bad as it could have. Oh. Oh, that's good. It still tossed her back, but not nearly to where it was before. Rogues can be real good at it, yeah. Well, she does have sleight of hand expertise, I can't help but notice. Okay, now. Uh. Uh. 
I guess we sent Carlac to get the door open. Unless there's something else going on. Doesn't really look like it, though. There's a ladder here. Got it. Okay. Yeah, I think she's going to hang out here. Carlac is going to go try to deal with the statue. What a charmer. Every single time. Why it needs to do that is beyond me. It should be pretty clear what character I intend to have Dash apply to. Lock picking impossible. Okay, how about we examine this? I might have to get her up here after all. Medium toughness, 22 damage. She should be capable of that. Still breathing, despite everything. No one back home will ever believe this. Breathe deep and move. What am I to do? No, okay. She's out of luck for this. I guess one thing we could do... Actually, no, I'm gonna... Burn yourself. Gonna have Purity use... Uh, what's it? Lay on hands. I think we'll deal with the skeleton after we get this door Let's hopefully go. open. Damn. Nice. No. Okay. Still alive, so that's progress. Wits and blades always oh. sharp. No, that's okay. Next turn, she can heal. Absolute power, 11 to 25 damage. Damn. This might take a little bit. Very angry fire. Well, Carlac can't, no. Still breathing, despite everything. Okay, where are we? I like how Lay on Hands is considered to be part of her monk abilities. Get it. There we go. Boom. Oh. Maybe I don't need to disable the statue. Come on. Do the thing. Actually, here. There we go. Let's get going. Have to keep. 
keep going. I think that deserves a quick save. I'm gonna lay these hands on you, yes. Tanner's Delight. Scimitar and Greatsword. More rope. They give you an awful lot of rope for not having ever given you a use for it yet. Especially given its status as one of the legendarily useful adventuring tools. Even more rope. Watch, we're gonna get to uh, Baldur's Gate and we're gonna pass by this innocuous sign that upon closer inspection reads uh, useful rope emporium and it's just going to offer nothing but rope for sale. Hey, Jarek, how's it going? You're down here too? Nice. That's why I keep keeping a few of them on me as well, Aranor. I keep thinking there's got to be at some point at which having it is going to become useful. Kind of like it does occasionally come in handy in the Pathfinder games. But so far, not so much. Idol of Shar. My faith will guide me. Idol of Lady Shaw. It cannot be a coincidence that I found this. All these signs of a Sharan presence. Dark Justicius. Never a dull moment. Okay. We've got too much crap. Ooh. Brenna. Give up now. If you would not mind. Right. Time to skulk about. This is your department. Made of precious stone and covered in gold, this chest is both sturdy and pleasing to the eye. Apparently, if you add it to the quick bar, you may be able to use it like the shovel. You don't even have to use it like... Oh, really, though? Interesting, Aranor. You don't need it on the quick bar, or at least um, you don't need the shovel on the quick bar anyway. You can just start digging. Now, granted, the quick bar would be more convenient. Oh, and that reminds me. Uh, who was I watching before? I was watching somebody before who... Yeah. Yeah. You can make this bigger to fit more stuff, which I had been unaware of. But if we're going to be doing things like adding shovels to the quick bar, um, well, that's not where I would have put it, but okay, I'll leave it there for now. Oh, that's it's per character. Oh, I kind of like that. The 
the protecty sparks wall. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> Unique properties on weapons are cool and all, but at a certain point. <laughs> High spell casting. You get a plus one bonus to spell save DC. Sparks wall armor. The wearer has a plus one bonus to armor class and saving throws as long as they have lightning charges. Ere the spark struck was raised on the Underdark, so they weren't surprised that power begets envy and envy begets violence. They were prepared. I got this longsword and it has an ability that deals one die four acid damage if you're a drow and the target is restrained. Wow. Enjoy your lurk, Jarek. Scroll of Blink. This seems like something that would be good for Mr. Gale, except that we left Mr. Gale behind. So I'm going to give it to Purity because she's not overburdened enough. Okay. Now, I can't help but notice that there doesn't seem to be much of any place to go here. Let's see if we can test this theory, though. Did Oh, shoot. I was talking about how I keep rope on me. I must have sent all of it back to camp. That's okay, though, because it kind of looks like we're going to need Gale back anyway. Oh, not again. <laughs> I don't. Looking ahead. At least now it's easy to fix. One day I'll catch a break. Today is not that day. vessel is at thy disposal do what thou wilt sorry about the charring uh, return this vessel to my camp withers thou art the master so it shall be we're gonna have to make use of her more often though that was pretty impressive I like her What's on your mind? With pleasure. Lead on. Okay. These, sir, are for you. Oh god, what happened? Okay, send to Gale, send to Gale. Yeah, that looks very Gale-like. I like it. Very good, nice. Very, very nice. We can send that to camp. Oh, are you? Yeah, I, I like the way it looks. It looks pretty nice. It's both really good and suits him. Yes, it does. Okay. Now we can figure out Still alive. So where we're going progress. from here.
Okay, lever. Where do we go from here? Was there more down here than I gave it credit for? Let's maybe mind my step. head that way. There's a staff. Don't know if you found it yet. I haven't using a thing called the Spell Sparkler. Gives lightning charges when you deal damage with spells or cantrips. Which, I, I that sounds familiar. I will have to check it out. I think there might be a few different objects in that series, for lack of a better term. Okay, this is odd. Where do we go from here? Oh, wait a minute. Or do we have to go over here? I never got down here, did I? Oh, because I missed the existence. Right, okay. I get it. I get it. I'll have to, next time we go back to camp for a bit, I'll have to check into that. That's curious. What's curious? Did we not already know about this? I'm pretty sure we already knew about that. Actually, I forgot there's still looting to be done. We ignored this poor unfortunate here rather unjustly. No worries, Aranar. Oh, either that or I looted it and dismissed it because it's nothing but a bone. Trust me, you can get there. Okay. Okay. Well. What's next? One giant leap. Hey, good looking. Which way to the nearest library? This way. Also, that's an excellent question. I applaud you, sir.
interesting. Let's be on my way. What is that? Orb of Dark Vision? Ugh. Is it worth going all the way back across for? I mean, I guess it's not that hard to go back. But still, is it actually worth it? Broken shackles. Tracks. Someone came through here in a hurry. Interesting. Just a click to activate thing? Okay. I will not worry about it then. And it's temporary. Okay. Looks like once again, though, they've given me an indication that someone came through here in a hurry, but they didn't actually show me. Bloody footprint. Bloody tracks. Quite small, too. A gnome found some trouble here. What would he be headed towards, though? That's my question. I wish they would show up as, uh, you know, interactable items. Bloody tracks. Quite small, too. A gnome found some trouble here. Okay, well, this is not really helping, so... Let's go back here and check out what this guy has to tell us. Not much. Okay, so we checked all those guys out. What's further along here, maybe? We have a plaque. Come, all who are weary. Sleep and forget. Okay, so we can cross over to there from here, it looks like. But I kind of feel like we should go in here, because it looks interesting in there. But we're probably going to have to save before we do that. <laughs> Not gonna do it. Wonder if people like say Will goes... Um, let's try again. It's possible, Jarek. I don't know what the requirements are. 
Apparently, they'll generally put up with a lot. Seriously? Thank you. I have more than that. I should have used my thief, but I didn't want to go back to camp just to bring her here. Her or Asterion, they both have tools. It's been giving me a lot of tools. Everard's black tentacles. Back Actually, Gale was looking for a library. He should be the one to check out the uh, shelves and whatnot. Sharon Inquisitor. Oh. Can't afford to stay idle. This one's for Shadowheart. Harper Key, an ancient key found on the body of a Shar worshipper. Undelivered letter. She can take the letter. I'm taking the key. Five tools and kits on me at any time and start saving a lot once you hit the last kit. Master Kethrick. That's a very familiar sounding name. My whip has finally coaxed some particulars from the captive Harper, to which she revealed the location of her stockpile on a rocky overlook. I investigated, but found the chest in question is trapped. Any attempt to open it might break its contents completely. The spy refuses to reveal how to open the chest even under threat of death, only crying Lux Splenda with every lash. Some type of watchword, no doubt. The interrogation continues, and again, please accept my most humble apologies for my earlier oversights. Rest assured, I will not... I will not to misidentify any more of my fellow Sharans as spies. May they walk forever in Shara, in shadow. Justice your Sybil. What was that watchword? Lux Splendor. Well, that told me nothing. Why am I doing this? You wanted books. There's books here. Remove curse. No, nope. okay. It's a little eerie how few monster encounters we're having over here. It's really all just traps and whatnot. Canticles of the Dark Mistress. Where's that letter? Shadowheart, if you would kindly give that to Master Gale. He can't make a check for it? Oh well.
Let shadow fall where light doth creep, and silence cloak the din. Let blackness into lost hearts seep, and bid Our Lady in. Behold, Char that shades our, who shades our path. Behold, Char from Io born. Behold, Char the primal dark, our goddess of night. Behold. Hello. Almost didn't see you folks there. On my way. <clears throat> Let's have a look. I am shocked and surprised. These are Sharon weapons. I would recognize the Night Singer's blades anywhere. Would you? yourself okay very stealthily break down the door Carlac. well well look what we have here <laughs> nothing in there will ever suspect <laughs> okay, what do we got? Maragon Legionnaire. Hellsbor. Forty-five. Nineteen. <laughs> Must be the wind, yes. And also, three and a half, or four and a half minute warning, guys. Fuck yes. Dazed, yeah. Oof. Rude. Excuse me. Okay, we are going to shove you. She gets to go again. Uh, 
Okay. Hells, I need to hold on. Open up. They have no loot. Are you kidding me? Oh, never mind. Merrigan Halberd. Sharp teeth grow out of the Halberd's dark metal if it is indeed metal at all. And another devil foil mask. I think I'm going to get Karlak to pick those up. Another mask. This place was rotten with Merrigons. Their leader probably isn't far off. I'm sure that's not a bad thing. Let's see. Wanna dance? Ooh. Yet one more. Leader might still be around here. Eyes up. Let's do a short rest. Feeling fresh. Shouldn't have wished to live in more interesting times. Okay, before we open that, I have to take a quick break. So if you guys need to get up and grab some food or a drink or a snack or something, now's a real good time to do it. Hey, can you guys hang on there for just half a second? I have to scan this thing. You don't mind, right? No, it's not going to let me. That's annoying. Priorities, game. Priorities. Aloy? Aaron! <laughs> I love how expressive they are in this one. The facial animation is so amazing. Auto drive. There you go. double-bladed glow stick. Really? Okay. What the hell? Did he shoot my fireball?
lagi. Careful, Uthgird. I know you have a predilection for setting off traps. Careful. Nope. Well, at least you didn't actually get hit by the arrows. I love the really close-up view. Okay. I'll give it a shot. Thank you, Aranar. Ooh, this is a good uh, chest. Fire Stoker. Burned alive. Deals an additional 1 to 4 piercing damage to burning targets. Oh, and that's a magic crossbow. Perfect. I'm going to give that to... Uh, Carlac here. Basic poison. Elixir of Arcane Cultivation. Gain an additional level one spell slot. Replaces effects from other elixirs when drunk. Single use. So wait a minute. Is that a temporary or a permanent boost? And drought poison. Thank you, Jim. Thank you, Anstara. Last until long rest. Okay. Oh, I could go for a good meal. All right, we're going to stick with the hammer for the time being. Okay, since we now know definitively that we're not actually alone here, let's be a little more subtle. But only a little. Tarnished silver key. Is there nowhere to go here? Kind of doesn't look like it, does it? No, okay. Maybe we gotta go down then. Although it doesn't really look like there's a way down there either. something down there. I don't know if we can get to it from here, though. We could test this rope theory. Oh, crap. We went back to camp and I didn't bring any back, though. Well, we can just pop back quickly. It's fine. I don't need to talk to anybody. This is not a, a big issue. Uh, where did we leave the chest, though?
Okay. Can't use this right now. Well, that certainly implies that there is a time and or place that you can use it. So that's at least something. It could be, but I choose to be optimistic about this. Aha, uh -huh, chest over there. Send that back. Granite bench. Pegasus feather. Alchemical ingredient. Combine three of these to complete to create a sublimate. This feather would make the softest duck down feel like hedgehog quills. I am so close to the edge. Oh my god. Um. Here, I'll tell you what. She probably doesn't need... Well, it's not really going to help much, is it? Gale often needs healing. Try a little alchemy. In the beginning came morning. Then night, two sisters clashed, one dark and one light. Okay. Looks like this is the way we need to go to get down here, which means I kind of want to go up here first. Oh, we have levers. Interesting. We also have a change in music and an autosave. I'm sure that means nothing. Everything is fine. Scimitar mold. Can be used to shape a unique piece of equipment. The mold seems tailored for use at a use at a particular forge. Despite a dent in the mold's edge, the wicked shape of a scimitar is clear and well defined. Mm, still mold. Used in 
forges to cast armor and weapons. Potion of mind reading. Interesting. Hmm, I'm not sure where that's going to come in handy. I guess we'll have to see when we get down there and maybe come back and fiddle with that some more. Okay, so what do we have over here? Oh, there's a pathway down here, too. Okay, that goes a fair ways. Good to know. did call forth the moon and the stars. Shah cloaked them in shadow to cover our scars. All right, where to next? We're going to go down this way just because it looks like the way forward is the right way. Dark's plaque. Come into her shadow. Let all that is past be forgotten. This is a big, big area. We haven't seen indications of theft in a while. This kind of implies that this is more recently habitated, don't you think? Fragrant fungus stew and fish. Scroll of Web.
That looks sneaky. I almost didn't see that at all. And there's a chest there, too. Look at that. Looks like the place the Dark Justicia's letter mentioned. But where's the stash? The second chest as well. What? Wow, that's horrifying. And it's not aware of us yet. That's so cool. Oh, do I want to do this, though? If I shove it off the edge, I don't get to loot it. I wish it looked like a real mimic, but what does a real mimic look like? I was thinking, man, I hope Minsk pops out of that thing. Oh god, there were so many of them. <laughs> They're all freaking mimics. Well, yes, but if they can turn into chests, they can grow teeth as well. Whoops. They don't turn into chests, they alter their colors like those octopuses do. Same argument. They can look like they have teeth. down to 46. Oh, these are actually kind of tough. Nope. Don't attack Shadow Hand. Hey, Winters. That's a fun encounter I think I missed. We'll see how fun it actually is. Dare you, sir. This is my happy place. I've started accumulating to making a party bag in my game already. I had some 25 alchemist spires gathering dust. I'm doing well, Winters. How are you? I hope you're doing pretty good. Rude. That's curious. What's curious? 
the fact that we've been attacked by three mimics all in one spot. Oh, immune to prone. Okay. A fun thing you can do with grenade items. Feel free to let me know what that is. Got an empty bag, fill it with all kinds of fun stuff, throw the bag and... Oh my god. Oh, wow. <laughs> that... That is pretty amazing. Wondrous Gloves. Troubadour's Wonder. Your armor class increases by one. In addition, if you have Bardic Inspiration, you gain one more use of it. Hand axe plus one. Not bad. Send those to camp. I'm going to send that to Karlak. Actually, I might send these back to camp as well. They're cool. But we don't exactly use a lot of bardic inspiration in this party. Truly a Larian kind of mechanic, I know. But it's kind of amazing. You kind of have to wonder if they added that to the game after somebody did that in an actual D&D game. Okay. So Swift as my feet can carry me. Oh my god, the toy chest. What? A tiny chest, perfect for tiny hands. This will be fun. <laughs> Harper stash. No trap tool. No trap disarm toolkit available. Let's send the party up here. And I'm gonna get Carlac to try opening it in solo mode. What's cooking? I called it an exploit, but is it really when Larian freely facilitates it? No, it's not an exploit. I mean, no more than you exploit the fact that the game has an attack mechanic when you get into battle. Oh, heck. Okay. We're gonna quick save in case this goes sideways. Yeah, unfortunately, I have to lockpick it. We're gonna see what happens here. Oh, DC 20? No, you know what? We're not doing that. We're gonna bring Brenna back out into the open again. Alright, Karlak, where are you? Oh, it's doing this thing again. Where's Karlak? That's me, that's Asterion. Well, 
Wait. Oh, crap. I didn't know you could individually send one character back to camp. That's interesting. All's well that ends. Not as bad as it could have. Copper for your thoughts. Stay here. Ah, oh, come on. You don't mean that. Oh, fine. I'll be here eating dirt. Or yeah, whatever. yeah, that 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 is true, Unstara. Just I don't see the point of it when you're playing solo, but I guess it doesn't actually hurt anything. These boots have seen everything. This vessel is at thy disposal. Do what thou wilt. Come along. This soul awaits thy command. Okay, everybody back. No time to rest. Eleven to fourteen bonus, DC twenty. We might actually need this. Nailed it. Wonder what's past this. DC twenty again. Nailed it. Roll of evidence. Interesting. The first few inches of this... What the heck? Mad, thank you so much for using your Prime and for coming back for 18 freaking months. That's amazing. Thank you so much for all the support. That's not one but two sub babies. Gordon Crowell nailed it. Gordon <laughs> Target. Welcome back, Matt. Welcome, welcome back. The first few inches of this scroll are written in a formal, elaborate script. To the Emerald Enclave and those deemed worthy to see this record, greetings from those who harp. Know ye that the one known as Cethric Thorm, Paladin of Shar, is guilty of crimes against body and spirit. They include, but are not limited to, murder, slavery, and desecration of temples most holy. Let our intent be known, an alliance between the Harpers and the Emerald Enclave. United we may end Thorm's reign of terror. The High Harpers eagerly await your good word. Okay, that is pretty amazing. Now, can we take the toy chest? Might be useful. Probably won't be useful, but we're taking it anyway. At the ready. <coughs> okay. Gather the party. What to do? Uh, okay. Where is she? She's down here. What's up for discussion? This vessel is at thy disposal. Do what thou wilt. Stay here again. 
Thou art the master. So it shall be. And now we can get Karlak back again. Hey, soldier. What's up? Come on. Fuck yes. Okay. So that was that. I'm so glad I noticed that cragged rock. I am still a little bit disappointed that there was no Minsk. You can use them as ladders, Nubby. They're a means of transit. Uh-oh. Uh, oh, okay. I thought the camera was stuck. Ah, okay. Now that's happening even outside of camp. I'm going to save here. I'm going to quit the game and I'm going to reload it. Let's try just reloading the game, actually, without restarting. We'll see if that fixes it. If I have to restart, I have to restart, but I'd like to fix it without that if I can. Yep, the walls, Nubby. They're kind of like... I want to say ribbed or textured sections of rock wall that are suitable for climbing relatively easily. That didn't do it. Okay, let's quit the game then. Okay. Oh, Baldur's Gate is doing... Oh, it's uh, sinking cloud status. I'll wait till that's finished. You heard that so wrong. Do I want to know? Oh, got it, got it, Nabby. I mean, it's not that out of the question. If we were playing uh, Tears of the Kingdom as I had originally planned, you actually can use regular rocks as ladders. Or, I guess not really so much ladders as elevators, but even so. Okay, here we go. Okay, so there's not too much in here. In fact, I think there was nothing. Everything. I'm 
taking that cabbage. Wait. Anything of use? Have we been here before? This looks familiar. Where are we? No. No, this can't have been... No. I don't think we've been there. Oh, that was a secret. That was fun. Okay. It's called out on the legend as specifically a secret. I like it. Now we wanted to go down to the docks. Oh, there's an ancient sigil here, too. Wait, hang on. We have been here. What the heck? Yeah, this is Grimforge. It's a lovely place. How the heck did I... What? I'm so confused. Alright, I guess we want to go this way then. Yeah, if you want to find it, I can show you where it is and pinpoint it out if you haven't already taken note, if you would like. Or, I can simply tell you, make sure you explore thoroughly. It's not like it's called something really ominous like Grim Forge or anything I know, right? Seriously. That'll do. Not bad. Deed of ownership. A formal declaration of territory ownership by the Iron Hand Gnomes. Let it be known from the far dim to the firelands, from Morn Diver to the spawning deep, the Iron Hand Gnomes, with the blessings of the Shield of the Golden Hills, declare possession of the tunnels, open spaces, peoples, and contents of underdark territory beneath the western heartlands. Ignore this deed under penalty of imprisonment or death. Approved and signed, Wolbrin Bongle. They take There's their deeds very similar. In that corpse. You should take a look. Should I? They they take their deeds very seriously. 
Slaver's inventory. The book's first page proclaims in bold text, Property of Sergeant Thrin, hands off. Name, location, status. Beldrin, trapped. Larida, dig healthy. Lunkbug, dig healthy. Myrna, trapped. Philomene, missing. Skickpit, sea magmar. Thula, missing. Welso, dig healthy. Wiki, trapped. The final scribble is impossible to make out. I don't see a corpse. Oh, wait, what is that? Trident. Rotten Baragus Blue Wedge. Another Devil Foil Mask. Oh, it's gotta be this corpse. N oh, that's Nair! That's where we were supposed to get to a million years ago. Find the missing boots. Help the Cursed Monk? What? We read the journal of a dark dust just justicier. He mentioned an amulet of great power that also made the wearer laugh. It was cast into the lava. The Deergar left without her boots. Dagger plus one, sword of screams, simple robe, polished ring, mind flare parasite specimen, Broken Moon Lantern. A thick layer of dust coats the bottom of the lantern. Its glass is cracked, its metal bent beyond repair. That's unfortunate for us. <laughs> wow, Edstara. I wouldn't mind if you show me where it is. Once I do this last section, I want out of this confusing place. No problem. So I will have to warn everyone. Oh. Misty Step Boots? Ooh. Oh, that's neat. Okay. An object catches your eye. A lantern, it seems. Though no light flickers within. Must be the moon lantern. Though it's dark as a moonless night within. A thick layer of dust coats the bottom of the lantern. Broken. So much for protection from the shadow curse. Investigation. Inspect the lantern in more detail. No! <laughs> Damn it! I'm gonna do it. That might do it, actually. Yep. We're good now. You see no burner or wick. It was not fuel that lit this lamp, but magic. DC 10, Arcana Proficiency. This is pixie dust used to illuminate a lamp, or left behind after a pixie's death. Okay. So, if you don't want to know, don't pay any attention to what I'm about to show you. This here is your Underdark Grim Forge portal location, and the Harper stash is just over here. So I'll leave it to you to figure out how to actually get there, but it shouldn't be too terribly horrible, I wouldn't think. So you can get to it over this way.
And I can see why you call it a horrible place. This is kind of confusing, isn't it? There's an awful lot here. And now that we've sort of circled all the way back, I'm not actually sure how exactly I got back here. Where I came from. I guess this is kind of that library-ish area. I'm not real sure. I forgot Nier existed and my D&D character's middle name is literally Nier. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I made the mistake of going back to camp a few times, switching between Gale and my thief to get at various things. And uh, so Nier sadly passed away some time back. And since I was AFK, I have no idea what I will be rewarded with. Excellent. It will be a surprise for you. Let's send those to camp. And we'll send those, and that, and that, and that. Sword of Screams. A blade of flawless craft. As it parts the air, you fancy you can hear a faint whispering shriek. One die eight plus three plus one die four psychic. Let's actually give that to Shadowheart. Dagger plus one. I think we'll send that over for Asterion, so I'll just put that in camp. And... I will use these. Those ones, Shadow Heart can have those, I guess. I to do? Well, she's already got speedy light feet. Maybe Gale can have them. There we go. I'm sure this isn't going to conceal anything horrible. Let's test before we get too close. Why am I doing this? It's best not to ask yourself that, sir. Oh, no. Okay, can't. holding anything. Oh, I guess it's not flammable because there's this giant brazier right there. Lots of torches. I wonder if that's a hint that we're supposed to use the torches. Also, I can't help but notice this conspicuous skeleton over here. It makes me wonder if he's got something I need to be looting. Whatever good that did. Um, oh. This might make more sense. <clears throat> oh, 
unfinished sending. Okay. A component of a magical sending hastily scrawled and incomplete. Sealed the lower temple. Grim forge taken by unknown force. Many soldiers, one face. Infernal, their leader. The note cuts off abruptly. Ink slashed through with blood. Devil foil mask. For the oh, traveler's chest. What? The key. Okay, so it's not our traveler's chest. Thirty five XP. Moving it. Still breathing. Nope, not not not. Oh, well, I didn't even realize we could go up there, but I wanted to go more here. Might be useful. <laughs> Encumbered once again. Of course we are. Three and a half minute warning, guys. Next break is up in three and a half minutes. Nothing to speak of up here. I'm so lost. Let's see if I can unencumber myself. Let's send that to camp. That was enough to do it. Try crossing the room just like nothing at all is wrong. Bit of flick of the wrist. That'll do. That's a bit of a chasm. So we came all the way out here for really not much. We gotta find a way to get over here, I expect. Did you 
really want to be standing right there, Shadowheart? I mean, you actually seem to be doing surprisingly well, but okay. Maybe we have to get back over this way, but down more? There's no way to climb down, is there? I expect jumping down is probably out of the question. Unless, I guess we could try using Featherfall, but I don't know if I've got... I guess Gale actually does have that, doesn't he? But that's just called Chasm. I don't know if there's anything we can land on safely down there. And Gale doesn't seem to want to make any progress. It's gonna have to wait, Jarek. I'm gonna do a break, then I'm gonna do a joke, so remind me when I get back. Uh, Gale? Oh god. We might have to go on a rescue mission, too. I'll be back in a few. The distinctive shape tells me this is the rare, endangered Malay Island mop handle tree. Several hours later. <laughs> oh. oh my god <laughs> No <laughs> on the loot. That's so convenient. I almost feel bad for killing him. Almost. Very nice. <laughs> wow! <laughs> They're not joking at all. Holy crap! <laughs> Guess it's all clear. Hey. Ugh. Hey. Damn it. My order the yard. Stop right there. Wow. What do you mean you can't reach my frickin' location? Right. Coming. Oh. Okay. Now you can reach my location, can you? You were stuck on one tiny little thing. Whoa! <laughs> I haven't even set the fire yet. Well, if they're up to it, I might as well join in. It's a little casual arson between friends. Oh. Hostiles ahead! Hi. Oh. 
Right. Okay. <laughs> yeah, that, uh... That might require a little adjustment. <laughs> Oh. Yeah, I guess that should have been fairly obvious that I needed to wait until he was actually there. Okay, I'm back. All right, Gale. No. Oh, God. No, no. No. Garlic. I'm too tall for this. Oh, my sympathies to the people who had to take that order for Zerp. It's good to see you. How are you doing? Also, I haven't forgotten. Now that we've done our rescue mission and everybody is together, uh, let's... There we go. Thank you, guys. Let's do a terrible pun or dad joke. So they actually worked. You feel so manipulated. I decided to watch even though I haven't played yet, so I am purposefully pseudo-lurking to not get too much of the game story. Don't worry. Right now, we're kind of lost in a really big area where I'm primarily concerned with navigation and not really doing a whole lot of what you'd consider to be story. I will make sure to let people know if we get into something story-heavy. So this is not a bad time to be watching, honestly. Uh, okay, let's see. <clears throat> what happened when the race driver had a wheel failure? He was forced to retire. There you go. I'm so sorry. I kind of hoped you might be around to hear that one, Jim, <laughs> and thank you. Um, okay, where, what the, what the heck? Let's see if I can get back, oh, okay, okay, I, 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 I get this. We were over here. Can we get back over here? Deep and move. Ah, oh, thank you, Mad. Um, I have a little bit of water for hydrating. Okay, and next stretch. Thank you. I appreciate those. Figuring out how to grasp because of that? What do you mean, Mad? Okay, here's that other thing that we can potentially manipulate.
There's also this over here. Oh, wait a minute. Okay, let's... We're gonna have to play with this a bit more. Let's see what's going on with this. Mm, okay, no. Oh, got it, Mad. Got it. Okay, we might actually be able to make that jump. Can we get back over here? Actually, it's not a matter of getting back over here. We haven't been here at all. Alright, so we need to backtrack then. A fair ways. That looks familiar. Longsword mold. Guys, you coming with? Ready and willing. Okay. What's next? You get your butt over here is what what what's next. Thank you. Shouldn't have wished to live in more interesting times. Classic error that. Never wanted the easy path. Okay. Platform's covered in rust. Must be older than bone dust. Wits and blades always sharp. I'm sure this isn't nerve wracking in the slightest. Rusty ancient machinery over a lava pit. And we're trusting it with the weight of not one but four characters jumping in succession onto it. Easy, easy, easy peasy. Lovely day this. For now. I think it was that one. But now we probably want down, don't we? Hopefully that's close enough. Never a dull moment. At the ready. 
There we go. Easy peasy. Nothing to it. That's another mold. What's that? Mace mold. New waypoint. We don't have to do that ever again. I'm so happy. Ancient Forge. Help the cursed monk. Find the lost amulet. Okay, let's see. Hmm, I'll take that. Of course, if this is the forge where we have to use this, then we're probably going to need those back again. But that's okay. Dark just, just to see your mail. So I think that's the same as what she's using. Yes. They are. I approve. All right. what now? It's quite nice of them. It's almost like they want us to enjoy the game or something. <clears throat> Praise be to the Lady of Loss. She has, through Sister Ansar, taught Brother Silov the true nature of our lives, that they are loss and nothing but loss. Through that sorrowful lesson, he has turned from his fame and following to come to us into the Lady's loving embrace. But he has not left everything behind. The man once known as Silov Yali brings with him his miracles of metallurgy. This dark alloy, adamantine, will let us spread the la Dark Lady's will with new fervor. Mm, so, when it's convenient, they're willing to keep stuff. Aha. Uh -huh. Scale mail mold. Oh, crap. Well... worth a shot. Sneaky, sneaking sneaks. Gotcha. Nice hit. Oh crap, are there four of them? Oh boy, alright, what are we gonna do? I'm running out of spell slots, aren't I? Yeah, shoot. At least they're going for the tank, as they should. Wow!
<laughs> nice. Take that, sucker. Oh, I forgot she had another attack. Uh, okay, let me see these guys. 25% high defense. Good psychic resistance and poison resistance, as one might expect. Anti-magic susceptibility. Held together by the weave itself, this armor is incapacitated by anti-magic fields. If only I had some. Let's try Witch Bolt. Miss. Ow. Not guidance. Uh, oh, shoot. Level one spell slot, right. Um, duplicity. Mm. Not bad. Oh, what's this one? Command. Oh, wait, did we... It's dead. Very nice. All right. Concussive smash. Backbreaker. Reckless backbreaker. That's right. All right. Uh, let's just do a regular attack this time. There we go. Two down. Okay, let's go back here and that's it for her. Can't even throw anything. All right. And Carlax hurting more. Oh, I forgot about Misty Step. Oh well, that's fine. Find a route. The last board is set. That one's almost gone.
Rude. Forever, pal. Good shot, sir. Onward. I need to act fast. Moving. Okay, that one's going to be tricky for us to attack. Gotcha. This is gonna feel good. Yeah, it is. Ah. I think we're probably about due for another long rest shortly. Wasn't even wow, not even a heavy weapon. Okay. What's this? Another skeleton. And another. Scroll of Polymorph. Ooh, okay. I'm gonna leave that one for Shadow Heart. So she keeps her constitution saving throws. Swathed in shadow, while obscured by shadow, the wearer gains plus one to saving throws when attacked. Yeah, I think that's probably better for her. Okay, so we don't want to go down this way. Interesting. What path lies before me? Interesting. That's one way to put it. You could certainly say that. Here we go. Centuries of blazing heat have smoothed away the plaque's inscription. Okay, interesting. Let's quick save and we're gonna go take that break. The in game type, the long rest. So, how's everybody's weekend going so far? I hope you're all having a good one. Mine has been completely dominated by streaming in Baldur's Gate.
I'm glad to hear that. Anything exciting going on? I saw a bunch of you guys posting stuff in the Discord about your Baldur's Gate games. I'm going to be catching up on that after I'm done tonight. Um, okay, it doesn't look like anybody needs to talk at the moment. So let's head back. Recovering from soldier shoulder surgery. I hope you're recovering well, Centurion. That sounds uncomfortable. A weekend full of Baldur's Gate cannot be a bad weekend. That is very true. Good weekend, even though we spent a lot for car service. And then there's Baldur's Gate 3 as well. Working through Act 2 bit by bit. Oh, I'm so excited to finally get there. Hmm. They're channeling, channeling a little bit of Lord of the Rings here, it looks like. You had some shoulder work done a few years ago? Oh, I hope it went... Oh. Excuse me. What? Uh... What's going on here? I don't like this. Watched some racing, puttered around the apartment. Very nice. <laughs> wow, mad. Can't get there. Um... No, it looks maybe we have to go here first. I don't know if we have to, but it looks like we can. Adamantine Forge. In this instance, I think maybe I'm grateful that it auto-saved. Oh crap. Why would I be surprised at being attacked in a place like this? Don't mind the walking blobs of fire. Yeah, exactly. Rude. This is a lot to take in. That'll do it. Heating up. You're always heating up, Carlac. Reckless attack. Gross.
I've been taking breaks from Baldur's Gate to catch up on some football games, watched our ladies be the first Australian team, including the men, to make it to the semi-final stage of the World Cup. Damn. Via the longest, most stressful penalty shootout in history. Wow. At least they got there. Ugh. These things are pain. Oh my god. It's a good thing I have a recent save. Oh, Jesus. This is awful. Actually, let's try... <laughs> better. That's better. Funny, explodey Memphis, yeah. Uh, I'm not sure I agree with the fun part, but you do you. Please help me. Um, let's see. Rude. Okay. Could have been worse. So the key is to try as much as possible to throw them away from you. Oh crap. It's far enough away. Yes. Good. Okay. That was miserable.
Okay, I think we're all right now. Oh, uh, actually, Gale. Gale, you have the solution right here. Thank you. Oh, we could just walk across? Okay, that's fine. Yeah, I do. It comes in handy once in a while. Oh, mithril vein? What the heck? It's not over. It's Try not standing in lava, guys. How about not being on fire? I know it's a crazy idea. <clears throat> the Lady's Worshippers, a registry of proud followers recruited by her loyal paladin, Kethric Thorm. Pages upon pages of names fill this book. Some are only nicknames, others consist of multiple noble titles. All of them are scratched out and annotated with no longer. Mithril vein. Okay. Now, I do believe that I've got a pickaxe, unless I... I probably sent that back to camp, didn't I? Carlike excused from being on fire. Yes, true. She's allowed, but she's the only one. Okay, pickaxe, pickaxe, where are you? We're getting there. Have I sorted this recently? Oh, pickaxe. Oh, no. Don't melee attack it. Seeing Scratch never fails to make me happy. Nice. Somehow I don't think her fists are that strong. I mean, you'd be surprised. She can deal out some pretty impressive damage on occasion. Good here, I hope. Actually, you know what? Whatever it's got, it's not worth it. Let's ignore that. Scroll of web, scroll of speak with dead. Grimforge, a history. Scroll of blink, scroll. <gasps> we got it, guys. <clears throat> we got it. You are up, Gale. The binding of this book is thicker than its combined pages, which are surprisingly devoid of detail. We know little of the ones that came before, but we know they worship the Lady of Loss. We know they constructed the Great Fortress and named... The next few words are smeared and illegible. But from whence they came and why they departed, this is a mystery even to Catherick Thorm himself. 
What we do know is that Shars Chosen has heard her call. Just as Grimforge served our mistress 800 years nigh, so it would again. Here, Thorm's dark, dark just, Thorm's dark justiciars shall rise. Here we will fulfill our goddess's pact. Here we will rebuild the lost city of Grimforge. So far will our shadows spread, and so dark will they be that Saluna's light may be forever extinguished. Only 75. Oh, probably because it's an evocation spell. And he's an evoker. I'm actually kind of tempted to make my next character a halfling or a gnome with lethal fists. I was kind of thinking that as well. I thought that might be kind of fun. Changed my mind. It's probably worth it for her and her alone. You know, it's actually a fair number of gems. This is not so bad. Doesn't really look like we can get much further from here. Have a lot on my mind. Well, in it. Let's take another look at this. Okay, still nothing new. He's got a bunch of level 4 spells he can learn, but we have to probably gain another couple of levels before that's going to happen. When do you start getting level 4 spells? Is it level 7? I would guess 7. Looking ahead. 7? Yeah. These boots have seen everything. Oh, um... I keep hitting spacebar trying to trying to uh, pause the game and it weirds me out a little bit that it does not work every two levels yeah this must be the forge what a feat of engineering it is okay oh we're getting there look at that we're halfway to level six very nice. Mold chamber, mold ejection lever. I like that they're labeled forge lever. Okay, now I did leave all of the molds in the camp, so we're going to have to go get those. So let's go see what kind of molds we have available. I'm sure I picked up at least three or four of them by now.
I never did find a vendor in the Underdark. Oh, here's two of them. There's the other two. So we've got Longsword, we've got Mace, we've got Scale Mail, and we've got Scimitar. And they're ten pounds each. So I think maybe I'll get Karlak to hold them. Hello. While she's at it, since we're doing foraging, I don't know that it's going to work with this particular forge, but... We've got various metal ingots and bars. I'm going to grab those too, just for the heck of it. Can't give up now. Now, here's a question for you folks that have gotten further ahead than I have so far. When you get to Act 2, can you go back to areas you visited in Act 1, or do you lose access? Because that's one thing that's been on my mind. Oh, I could go for a good meal. The teleport teleporter points are still there, but you've not tried them yet. Okay, sounds good, Enstar. Sounds good. What do we want to make? I'm kind of thinking. Maybe some armor? The cycloid scales etched into this mold would be perfect for scale mail armor. The mold seems tailored for use at a particular forge. So I'm going to assume that we only get one use of this. And I probably don't have enough mithril to make use of it yet. But let's try it. A perfect fit. I just need the raw materials. Unlimited mold uses, but you've only found two mithril. It's one mithril per creation. Oh! Interesting. Now, can you use it with materials other than mithril, I wonder? Do you know what the molds are? I've got scale mail, longsword, mace, and scimitar. Ejection lever, forge lever. Let's see what this does. Missing splint and shield. Okay. What do you mean, Ansara? I did save the game before I did anything. What happened? Ore and mold. But they still need the lava to bind them. Ah. Oh. Oh. Why do I suddenly have a feeling that that big walking pile of flame is going to be significant? The wheel? Oh. Just weird. Game went away on me.
Okay. Ah. Let's do another hard save point. Big fiery friend? Yeah. Lava valve. Big yes, fiery no, friend no. Interesting. Maybe some sort of construct then. That looks big and constructy. This is awkward. I'm not going to be able to push him, am I? Let's try staggering. Threat assessment prime target. Should have done this before, but that's okay. Uh, where is... Here, do it this way. Shadow Heart. Can't reach. What's this? Melting. Oh, God. Okay, in that case, concussive smash. Oh my god, 300 hit points. That's a nope is what it is. No kidding. It's a gimmick fight if, um... How would a gimmick fight work in D&D? &D? You know what? Yeah, I'm okay with tips for this. I don't fancy their chances. Despite the hammer? Oh, shoot. We have ads starting in less than a minute. The big smashy thing in the middle? Oh, wait a minute. This... Lure him onto it. He chases his prime target. Uh, do we know who his prime target is at any moment? And speaking of any moment, I need to go take my break right now, so feel free to tell me in chat, and I'll be back in a few minutes. Uh, there we go. Well, I'm not cold anymore. I stand corrected. Now we've had a redemption for a terrible pun or dad joke. Brace yourselves. How did the police end up catching the man who was on the run in the bathroom? He stood on a set of scales and gave himself away. Get back here. No, don't get back here. What the fuck?
Nope, 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 nope. Okay, I wasn't expecting the song. <laughs> He's been like that for an hour now. Passed out cold. He'll come around. I don't know. I'm pretty sure he's dead. Hmm. I guess that's the end of the game then. <laughs> but with him being the main character and all, funny. <laughs> I didn't think you could die in Lucas Arts Adventure games. Well, wow. maybe they're trying something different. When I should take care of him? Would you? It's bad for business having him just lie there. Wow. Rest in peace and all that. Wow. The end. <laughs> hey! <laughs> I'm not really dead. <laughs> oh, come on. Cut it out. This is so good. Maritime Measures In the great maritime city of Babylon, the introduction of standardized units has not been well received. Already mistakes have been made with quantities of materials and engineering calculations. Shipbuilders and merchants alike warn that their commercial interests will be harmed if they are forced to adopt the new measurements. Should they be given an exemption? Hell fucking no. Enforce the city will need to adapt even if it harms industry. We'll need authority oversight to ensure compliance. Lock down on Babylon for 20 turns. Don't give me this garbage. We're too dumb to make the switch. Mistakes will happen. It'll cost. Yes, it'll cost. Deal with it. Oh, oh boy. Oh, sorry, guard. I hope they're not hostile now. Ah, uh, crap. Wait, 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 whoa. Hang on, hang on. Okay, I'm back. And yes, humankind is very good. I do need to play that again sometime. They've got piles of DLC now that I need. Ah, okay, so... Wait, which character is this? Uh, where do I see my debuffs? Notable features. Is it Shadowheart? Thank you, Edsar. Thank you, Aranar. Thank you, Jim. Thank you, Mad. Oh, wait a minute. Survival is all that matters. It probably won't allow me to do this. Pure, yeah, okay. In combat. Can't do it. That's a shame. Oh, debuff. Prime target. Victory is assured. Oop. Don't go swimming in lava. Noted. Unless you happen to be her. My breath. 
Stop jumping in! Oh my god, she's so close to dead. I think I'm probably gonna have to reload. Congrats on Stara, that's amazing. Uh... Yeah, I suspect that's not going to help enough. <laughs> oh. And now we can't do a thing about him. Okay. I think you were right about insisting I save the game. Now that I have some idea of what I'm up against. I made my guys stop auto-following and put them all next to the hammer lever except for the one to turn the valve. That way I could shoot the golem and it would traipse over towards them. Yeah. I'm thinking that's probably a good sound strategy there. Auto follow is clearly just going to get me killed in this situation. It's a really handy feature until it's not. Oh, there are more twists to it. Great. Just great. All right. Actually, I think I'm going to get Carlac. No, this is a forge, not a well. My faith will guide me. Quite ready for you. Let's go. Also kinda thinking. Oh. That hit the spot. Yeah. We are down a few. There is work to do. We're down a few spell slots, Good but life. not too so bad. I'll give it a shot. Let's quick save here. Like auto drive, really convenient until it kills you. Exactly. Wanna dance? Okay, let's see. Spread magical darkness on impact. Wizard's Bane, no. Outside normal range. Okay, hang on. Cancel that. Have to keep going. I haven't used any of these before. Missed! Rude! Excuse me. Uh, all right, 
what do we want to do? Um, 18 meter range. I don't know if this is going to cut it. Oh, I think I can barely hit it. Oh, I think she's just become the prime target. Let's fix that. Too far. Okay, Gail, come on. Don't get too close. My word. It's immune to fire and immune to everything unless softened by lava. Got it. Over there. Ah, now she's the prime target. No! Oh god, what did you do? Why are they so willing to jump in lava? Okay, fine. Arena's just big enough to be hazardous from that spot for ranged attacks, yeah. Oh god, okay. Um... Elixir of Bloodlust. I probably should, uh, I must have fire resistance or something, right, but, yeah, elixir of fire resistance, I have a couple of them. Don't jump in the lava, please. Oh god, he's gonna run right into the lava. No, he's okay. Shadow, I'm going to leave Shadow Heart right here with the lever. Yep. 
Yeah, he, he keeps moving though, which is a problem. too far enough, too, too far to give anybody any assistance. I have Longstrider on all my guys at all times because Shadowheart has it as a ritual spell. If you have it on anyone, they could speed one person up who'd act as bait. That sounds great, but I'm pretty sure I don't have that ability. So wait, you have to get it to stop under the hammer? How do you do that? Do you have to send the bait onto the center? This is not going to go well. He has a stomp effect that has an area of effect that he'll do if he can't reach you for melee. Ready. This is painful. Unleash me. Least favorite battle in the game so far. At least he's well positioned for this. This is crazy. How on... <sighs> I'm assuming this is an optional battle because you don't technically have to use the forge and make an item. You don't have to do this every single time you make an item, do you? Because <laughs> I can see this making for... Very few items, if that's the case. One time kill? That's something, at least. And he has loot, too. Okay. I mean, I guess I could put spinning cl a cloud of daggers over here. That might help, but... Dull 
Oh shoot, I can't lure him back because Carlac's dead. That's an issue. It's certainly optional to the story. If it's too frustrating and you'd rather come back after leveling, yeah, I might have to. Help. Shoot. So we're dead now. And I'm going to die. <laughs> Of course, now the problem is I can lure it back across here, but I have no one at the lever. Can I dash? Don't loot Carlac. Oh, Carlac's just outright dead. Okay. It's the character's willingness to take a lava bath that's putting me off this fight. I mean, Carlac seems pretty willing and able. Okay. This is just terrible. I kind of wish I had lightning bolt now. Well, what we could do. Let's get on with it. Onward. The rewards are pretty great. Yeah. I don't doubt it. Step by step. Is that blood? No, never mind. Let's give it another shot and see how this goes. Yeah, we'll have to we'll have to see how this goes, I think. I just want to get more of a feel for how this goes. I'm level 5, Sai Swan. Not even close. Revi oh, really? Okay, I stand corrected.
Whoops. Okay. Well, fine. Um. Yeah, now I'm suddenly noticing Gale's only real... You know what? We need more prep. I'm coming in with fewer spell slots than I have available to me. And I don't think that's doing me any favors. The hammer won't instantly kill it. It'll do like 150 damage. That is pretty good. That's half its health. And it didn't take me that long to do about a quarter of its health. As long as it's softened. You do still have that barrel of boom you stole, though. Mm. Actually. <laughs> Not in the same turn, though. No, I wouldn't assume so. All right. Let's go back to camp. Okay. Let's ditch... Oh, okay, never mind. Um... Protection from energy. Oh, she has create water as well. Oh, she's got less of restoration. Somehow I didn't even notice that. Okay, sanctuary. Spiritual weapon. I need to play with that. I don't see that spell. Did I just go right by it or something? It's one of those rare occasions where you gotta fight smarter, not harder. Longstrider's a wizard spell. Just have it from Shadowheart because of ritual casting feet. Yeah, that's not gonna do me any good, unfortunately. And Gale does not have it. Pretty certain he doesn't. What level would it be? We've got Haste, Stinking Cloud, Lightning Bolt. Oh, we do have Lightning Bolt. I could replace Fireball with Lightning Bolt. Oh, I don't have Fireball prepared. Level one. Maybe, then. I keep meaning to find a familiar as well. No, I don't have it. No, Will won't have it. I'm going to have to find another way. Let's look at my cantrips. 18 meter, 18 meter. Oh, I can't really swap out cantrips, can I? But I've got a fair number that are 18 meter and only one of them is fire, so. Haste is one. Okay. We can lose Scorching Ray, because that's not going to help us in this battle. Downside is it only lasts 10 rounds. Still, that's better than nothing. Actually, if I get rid of Lightning Bolt, because that's questionable how useful it'll be. Maybe I can stock up on lower level spells that'll be more useful. Okay. 
Now we have to rest to make that change happen, right? No, we don't. Interesting. Poisonous bite. Blind enemies with its beak. Infectious bite. Bufotoxin. Crippling pinch. Meow to distract enemies. Wow, Anstara. <laughs> wow, Automod. Magic Missile is a good one. I'm keeping that one. Okay, it doesn't grant any additional benefits. There we go. <laughs> That's perfect. Quoth the raven. I love it. <laughs> Kitty would melt. In yeah, that's why I'm going with a bird. Okay, so that's that. She doesn't have spiritual weapon, does she? I mean, I know she's got it available. We haven't used it, have we? Let's take a look at her spellbook. Summon a floating spectral weapon that attacks your enemies. So, it's floating. You can move it independently, right? That might be a way to bait it as well, if it can be targeted by it. Oh, I do have a free slot. You're right. Protection from energy. Oh, that's because I canceled protection from energy, and I didn't select anything to replace it. Beacon of Hope. Enemies will out, uh, will regain maximum hit points possible when healed. They also gain advantage on wisdom saving throws and death saving throws. Revivify. They return to life with one hit point. Glyph of Warding. Daylight. Protection from energy, fire, might not... Uh, you know what? That's true. That is true. We're going to keep Prayer of Healing. Where's the little healing? I'm not going to do that one. I will do Bless, I think. Really? Well, let's get rid of something else then. Gale can create water. We'll have him do that, and she can do healing word. It Oh, that's true. It does only take the bonus action. Oh, and she's got access to speak with dead. Spell is not prepared, and it's ritual cast. But I don't need that because I've got the amulet thing. Revivify. I don't know that it's going to be that helpful in this battle. It restores them with one hit point, which is better than nothing, granted, but I don't know. What's the range on it? Nine meters? That's awfully short. Eat. 
Yeah, I do have scrolls of revivine theory that might be better. Uh, where's... Oh god, where's the chest? Oh, it's up here. Happy thing about revivify is it doesn't have to raise them where they died. True. I don't think I have any excess scrolls in here. Is greeny. It's good to see you. How you doing? I see this sneaky Twitch stream. Hello and goodbye. Just noticed we're at 3 a.m. Oh, shoot. <laughs> That's a good point. Oh, adamantine slag. Too small and damaged to be of any use. That's unfortunate. I was going to be ending right around now. But we, we have to make at least one more attempt. I don't think I've got any extra scrolls stashed around. I think almost what I need is to... Figure out where the Underdark vendor is. Is that back around, like, maybe the Myconids or something like that? Did I blow past it without discovering it? I haven't had a vendor in so long. Uh, we're in Grimforge. One vendor with the Grey Dwarves. I didn't find the vendor then. And two with the Myconids. Man, I missed three vendors. Uh, I've got stuff I have to do tomorrow afternoon, so I should probably end now. We will continue our preparations. And no promises, but maybe I will do another sneaky stream tomorrow or something like that. I don't know. Or maybe the next night. We'll have to see. There's two, and yes, one is there. Okay. So which is the closest outpost waypoint thingy? Underdark Beach? Underdark Grimforge? Underdark Ancient Forge? Underdark Selenite Outpost? Vendors in Myconids, yes, and Grimforge has a vendor, at least from what I know from early access. Okay. The Grimforge port has one right next to it. You're kidding me. Right up the stairs? But I've been here 500,000 gazillion times. I haven't even seen any inhabitants here in a long time. Up the stairs and to the right, there should be two dwarves. I don't think there are. This is where I went down and murdered the mimics. There's nobody here. However, I did blow right past the Myconids without encountering them whatsoever. I could always go back that way and maybe see what was happening there. That could be that this place has been seriously abandoned. So maybe that's what we'll do. Maybe we will go back to the beach. 
In my game, they're still there even though you killed everyone else. Yeah, there can be weird triggers sometimes. Oh, I finally got a familiar for, um, for Gale, Greeny. Quoth the Raven. But we can't say never more yet, because so far he's fine. Oh, I missed this area entirely. Crooked Wand of Fireballs? What? That's amazing. You have my attention. I should hope so. I didn't do a very good job of exploring this area, I think. Executed Deep Gnome. We already looted him, though. I never found where the bullet surface is. Uh, where would the Myconids be? Probably up and around here, or maybe up there. I think we're going to go over that way, though. Oh, I found Mimics. Maybe not the ones you're thinking of, but I found Mimics. I did find the Mimics. I was very disappointed Minsk was not there. Okay, let's save here, because I haven't saved since we started prepping. Hopefully my preparations for the one battle will see me through this area, too. You are swallowed by a chorus of turbulent music. Through one creature sing many voices. The harmony of an entire collective. Oh, we found them. Sovereign, he has come. He is here. Yeah, that's the fight that I've been trying to gear up for, Greeny. The choir fades. It's killed me a few times a now. A single melody rises above the others, brassy and commanding. I am Sovereign. Lies. This is not Mass Effect. Your lifeless body wrapped in fungal tendrils. The Sovereign is threatening you. State your purpose. Oh, I didn't really want to be using Gale for this. What's his persuasion? Charisma, persuasion proficiency. Okay, insight. Okay, so not intimidation. I am a traveler seeking adventure. Seek understanding. Focus on the sovereign song. I guess that'll do. You detect a distinct quiver in every note. These creatures have experienced recent tragedy.
I sense your fear. I've come to aid you. Fungal roots weave through your mind, seeking your true intent. Then the Sovereign drones a new melody, cautious but welcoming. Descend to me. Let us speak in flesh. The persistent music coaxes you forward. The Sovereign expects you. Okay. But not before getting that. Karlak, why do you keep taking the front position. Get out of there, ma'am. There you go. No time to rest. Oh, we never did rest, the right. Gods are watching me. Fungus and mold glaze the grotesque creature's face and body. A voice drifts into your mind as you gaze upon the misshapen servant. Leave this one. Come to me. We must speak. Okay. Fair enough. Hook horror spore servant. Lovely. Oh. You don't look like a myconid. Uh, who are we talking to? Probably not you, huh? Dareth Bone Cloak, so I'm guessing he's a merchant. I guess I'll just wander around until I find somebody that we need to speak to. Blurg. Oh, traitor. Oh, new waypoint, too. Excellent. Ah, a visitor. You're a welcome sight. But let us observe the customs of the locals. The scholar's brow tenses. His voice spills into your skull, the spores connecting mind to mind. Blurg, proud member of the Society of Brilliance at your service. It gives you the outmatch tutorial? Nice. Or perhaps not. Your mind is far more complex than that of the fungi. I've never heard of the Society of Brilliance. Understandable. We are small in number and rarely stay in one place for long. My colleagues and I are working to improve conditions in the Underdark. This need not be such a dire, hostile place. They could use a it's bit of work. It's to find a surface dweller here. What has brought you down so deep? Honestly, I kind of got lost down here. A common phenomenon in the Underdark, I'm afraid. Could I ask what you were searching for to begin with? You were infected by an illithid tadpole. It's a miracle you're still intact. You must be worried sick, but have no fear. I have a friend who may be able to assist. Omelium! I hope this is important, Blurg. My Zerkwood samples need constant attention. It is. This adventurer has an illithid tadpole inside her head, but she hasn't turned. No cellomorphosis? That's impossible, but intriguing. Oh, hello. Are you looking to have it extracted? I am. Open your mind to me. Let us see what lurks within. Okay, um, I, I, let, let's, you know what, this is only the latest in a long string of crazy things. Let's just go with it. A 
As the Meloan's mind pierces yours, the tadpole pulses with power. It feels ten times its size. Alive. Awake. Almost smug. This is most unusual. The incubation period should be complete, as should your transformation. But the lava is infused with strange magic. It appears to be in some form of stasis. Can you extract the tadpole? No. It appears to be shielded from physical and magical influence. And even without the shield, the extraction would involve severe cranial trauma. How severe? I have feeling magic. I intend no disrespect, but one can only heal so much of their own brain tissue. Fair point. But not to worry. Should you transform, I will happily perform a new examination. <laughs> a naughty loin? Fascinating. I have never set foot on one myself. They were our warships during the greatest eras of the Illicid Empire. We ruled the entire astral plane from their decks. The design was lost when the Gith rebelled and ended our dominion. That's really interesting. That lines up perfectly with the new 5th edition version of Spelljammer. With the astral plane reference. I like that. Of course. I am sorry I cannot assist you in its removal. But I have an idea. Oh, perhaps I should start taking notes. There may be a way to bypass that stasis. There are many alchemical substances that can influence the mind. Oh, interesting. What kind of alchemy are we talking about? A tincture distilled from a collection of rare mushrooms. They have subtle psionic influence. I would require a fresh tongue of madness and timusk spores. But be warned, in their natural state, both of these mushrooms can be quite dangerous. Timusks cause confusion in those that approach them. The tongue is self-explanatory. This is really cool. Eating those doesn't sound like a great idea. Lovely. So where do I find these mushrooms? The Underdark, of course. Although they are quite rare. And their discovery... perilous. Hmm. I imagine Lenore would have them in her possession. She served Mistra as a cleric. Okay, we have ads beginning. Oh, actually, I'm going to snooze those. There we go. Where does this Lenore live? The southwest when I last saw her. Although her tower does have a tendency to move. All right, I'll come back when I find the mushrooms. May your travels be safe. And swift. Of course, I I was actually Welcome trying back. to have you made any new discoveries? Just access the wares. I do enjoy a good bargain. If anything in my private collection is to your liking. Let's just take a quick look here. Okay, so yeah, he's got some genial striding. What? Unimpeded by difficult terrain. Nice. A uh, circlet of blasting, scorching ray. That's a nice one. The baneful. Possibly bane your target. Banishment, greater invisibility. Scroll of fly. Hypnotic pattern. Stinking cloud. Psychic spark. Shoot an additional dart whenever you cast magic missile. That one's badass. I like it. Cinder shoes. 
Sunwalker's Gift. The Lifebringer. Oh, this is part of that set that you were talking about on Stara. Nelf's First Staff. Flaming Sphere. Scroll of Detect Thoughts. Sylvan Stone. Oh, man. Okay. That's that's what I wanted to see. So, yeah, we've got some options. I have mushrooms to catalog. I met Blurg, but didn't have that encounter with the Illithid. Yeah. How is your morgue? I gotta save now, though. You both still use on Gale? Yeah, I'm tempted. I'm very tempted. All right, it is time for me to get going, though. I might have to stream again tomorrow. This game is so freaking addicting. Ugh. Or if not tomorrow, maybe the day after. We'll see how I feel. I'm very tired today. I might need an extra day, so we'll see what happens. But I'll try to fit in some more at some point soon. So um, let's see. There we go. It depends. I have other stuff I've got to get to. I, 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 I like got to get to as well. I haven't done any new shorts in a while. I need to go through clips. I did some more of that last night. And I didn't get any posted because most of the clips that I happened to get to, they were the ones that I was taking during uh, Tears of the Kingdom to mark out the shrines so that I can find the shrine videos easily. So none of those are really worth posting as shorts. But I'm going to have to find something. I've let it go for almost a week at this point. I need to get something more up there. So let's see if I can find another Baldur's Gate stream. Oh, Lax is on playing Baldur's Gate. We could go visit him. So that's one option. Then let's see. Danatosh is also playing Baldur's Gate. Mm. Lunity's on, though she's not playing Baldur's Gate. She's playing Majora's Mask. Actually, she had a tragic situation. She was all set to finish Majora's Mask last night, but her Nintendo Switch updated, and she didn't have any actual save data. She had been using just, uh, you know, putting the Switch to sleep, and so she had to completely restart the game from the very beginning. Oh, Mandy is also on playing Baldur's Gate. Yeah, that was rough, Anstara. The only silver lining to it is that she's going back into it knowing what has to be done in most cases. Apparently she was only, like, uh, missing two masks. And so she was, you know, set for maybe one or two more streams at the most before finishing it. I've considered doing extra thing myself, not like I... No, well, you... you, you I make the vast majority of my clips, Greeny. Just get your stream deck set up so that you can use it and so that you can put a clip button on it and just, you know, go to town with it. That's all I do. Um, where are we going to go? I'm kind of leaning towards Lax or... Lax or Mandy or even Lunity because of the tragedy that she suffered. I don't know. What are you guys feeling? Do you want more Baldur's Gate or would you like uh, some Zelda? Well, I have a channel where that is easy enough to uh, ask about and talk about. We can make that happen for you, Greeny. It's not hard. At least, I shouldn't say that. It's not hard if you know how. Yeah, that's it, it, that's a tough one, though, Greeny. Until you actually start doing stuff with the clips, I, I went for years trying that technique and that just, you know, you get one or two every once in a while. More Baldur's Gate? All right, let's go more Baldur's Gate. 
We raided Lax recently. Let's go raid Mandy, I think, tonight. Health is all you need. Wow, that actually loaded really quickly. Usually I have time to mute that before that pops up. Okay. Anyway, we're going to go visit Mandy. That was her voice there. Let's go see how she... Oh! <laughs> actually, this is funny. Speaking of the forge, guess where she is? <laughs> So this should be fun to watch. Yeah, I think so. I'm pretty sure I braided Lax relatively recently. I don't actually track that. Maybe I should start doing that again. I used to keep records of that. All right, guys. We're going to go visit Mandy this evening. We probably raided Mandy again recently as well, but uh, I, I would like to see how she's doing with this Forge thing. Maybe we'll see how she beats it, if she beats it. And I'm curious what level she is. Looks like her character's got about 48 hit points, but mine's got less than 40, and I'm level 5, so I don't know. She might be higher level. Here's the raid call. Here's the raid call, Greeny. Here you go. Here at the Library of Lore, we use Shh. It's a library raid. You've been bookmarked with the heart emote and the wave emote of the channel if you are a sub. If you are not a sub, you can use the Twitch raid and the tomb raid emote. In other case, sub or non-sub, please feel free to copy the raid message and arrange whatever emotes you want to use the way you want them to appear. It'll all be good in my book. So let's get over to Mandy's channel, see how she's dealing with the Underdark and uh, Baldur's Gate in general. And I will be back for sure on Tuesday. And very possibly, oh, yeah, very possibly tomorrow or the day after. What is tomorrow, Sunday or Monday? So we'll see. I'll figure it out one way or another. Uh, but, you know, absolute latest, I will be back on Tuesday. So uh, let's get over there, see how she's doing, and I will be back soon. So have yourselves a wonderful rest of your night, day, evening, whatever it is where you are in the world, and I'll catch you again soon. Bye for now.